Okay, this is page five of the interprocess communication notes. Uh, section three was on function pointers and section four was on uh, signal handlers. And so section five is just a brief comparison of something called uh, system five uh, versus POSIX IPC. So they have um, mechanisms uh, that they both provide, and they're just different flavors, essentially. So there's the message queue, and that's the first one we're going to look at. Uh, but there's also shared memory. And then there's semaphores. And with those, you can do pretty much any kind of coordination and synchronization between uh, processes running on the same uh, computer. And so System 5 was a version of Unix from AT&T. So it was from AT&T. Um, I forget um, the two people, um, Kernahan and Richie maybe developed Unix there. Uh, I might be getting one of those wrong. Anyway, um, and they were forced through antitrust legislation to, um, I think, provide the source code for Unix or to make it available for others to use. Anyway, um, something to do with that. And so um, this was one of the releases from AT&T AT &T of Unix. And System 5 um, came out around 1989 and provided these three uh, interprocess communication mechanisms. Uh, POSIX was an effort between a number of companies to develop an interface, a common interface, between the various uh, Unix, Unix flavors. So like Sun, uh, Solaris, and um, there were other versions out there too. So POSIX stands for the Portable Operating System Interface. And this was, um, from IEEE, or they they manage the standard, and the the one that we care about that provided the IPC mechanisms uh, was released in 1996. The first draft was around 1989, but it didn't include these mechanisms. And so, uh, System Five has been around longer. These mechanisms, and any Unix distribution has them. Um, but POSIX, I think, can be argued that they're better, and it's the one that I want to show you. Uh, so POSIX IPC um, is basically simpler. Um, so Sun Fi, or sorry, System 5 um, uses this concept of keys, which we're not going to get into. POSIX IPC just names the, uh, the mechanisms. So it, uses names. Uh, so for example, when you create a message queue, you would do something like this. It needs a slash at the start and then the name of your message queue. So let's call it my message queue. So instead of um, keys, which uh, System 5 uses, and uh, instead of having, it does have some uh, specific um, calls, system calls associated with it, but it also uses um, the open, close, and unlink um, system calls. 
So when you delete a file, you're actually unlinking it. And so that's what that is. So this is to uh, you use this to delete it when you're done with it. Now, in System 5's favor, uh, System 5 is ubiquitous. And like I've already said, uh, I want to stick with, I want to show you the, the POSIX versions. They're more modern, I guess, uh, cleaner and uh, arguably better. Now, in either case, uh, the IPC mechanisms, the objects, are persistent in the kernel. So both are persistent. in the kernel. So what that means is that you can create a message queue and your process can terminate and that message queue with its contents will continue to exist because it lives somewhere in the kernel uh, memory space and then another process could come along open up that message queue and retrieve the data from it. So a process can Create it, terminate, then another process can open it, and multiple processes can have it open at the same time. I mean, that's nothing to do with persistence, but I just wanted to mention that. Uh, there is a there's an implication of this though. Um, the kernel has a has space for a limited number of these objects, and so if you create something and then say your program crashes before you've um, deleted it, unlinked it, uh, you could start filling up uh, the available space for IPC objects and then you could try to run your program again and you can't create another one. So it's important to unlink when you're done and I'll show you uh, with our demo um, code which I'll, uh, I'll show you how you can actually delete one of these um, from the command line using the rm command. Uh, so the kernel limits the number of objects so it is important to delete IPC objects when done with them. And when I say delete, think unlink. Okay, so that's uh, page five of the notes.